you do not want to make this Bitcoin mistake. Learn from my biggest mistake in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel and in today's video guys, I'll be sharing with you the biggest mistake guys and I'll be taking you through a bit of a presentation of what the difference is between trading and investing and, and making sure that you have a strategy. Don't just, you know, buy and sell because you because you want to buy and sell. So guys, the, the mistake I'm talking about is trading and investing the way i trade the the forex markets the normal the traditional markets is different to bitcoin guys and it shouldn't be because I, I have got a successful strategy that i've been using for years to make money in the traditional markets i work very hard it's not an easy strategy i have to do, put a lot of effort in i mean if i show you this this file guys i've got out i've got pictures of pictures up on pictures of trades that i take i take pictures of when i take the trades why i take them i go through analysis of them and i spend a lot of hours you know you can go through each trade the the, the, the trades i take with bitcoin i don't do that as much and, and and also what i do is with those markets if i miss a trade i let it go with bitcoin if i miss a trade i, I sometimes fomo in or get angry and it shouldn't be like this i should trade bitcoin like i trade any different market the the, the one of the main reasons i think i do that is because bitcoin is obviously i've got uh, an affection to it i love bitcoin i like, like the ideology what bitcoin is trying to do and fundamentally long term i like bitcoin so i sometimes mix my trading and investing strategy when i'm when i'm trading bitcoin so i'm going to quickly give you an overview of what trading versus investing is and then i'll talk to you about what my kind of st two strategies are of overview of my two strategies are uh, just a quick reminder if you haven't subscribed to my channel i highly recommend you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i've got some insane content coming through more educational content and obviously my, i think my content is different to most of the other youtube channels who like to pump coins to go into a thousand ten thousand and you seem to win all all their trades so i'm quite honest with my my analysis so the mistake the the current i mean i've made this mistake a few times and the mistake i made again from a technical analysis point of view you wouldn't buy this because you know it is looking like it's breaking down the indicators are going down and it's broken a key support so people it got dumped here and i, I sold my bitcoin here and this the, there isn't a buy signal here you'd probably look to buy a pullback here and you didn't get that you know here you sometimes you see you get you get pullbacks or on the hourly strategy you get nice pullbacks to get in and i did trade bitcoin here i mean uh, in the facebook group if you've not joined you can i highly recommend you check it out there's some knowledgeable people here and i exactly uh, to put examples of where I'm exactly taking the trade so you can uh, learn from it. So I highly recommend you join our free Facebook group. There's It's not just me, there's other knowledgeable people in this group you can learn from on a poster every day. I did take a, a simple long trade, but if I had followed my investing strategy, which is, you know, buy dips, then I will, probably would have made more money. So from a trading point of view, it's going well. But for investing point of view, which is a longer term thing, I mean, I didn't buy as much Bitcoin here. I thought, you know, Bitcoin wasn't going to break here. I didn't buy Bitcoin uh, at this breakout because I thought, you know, it, I, I think it's going to pull back and, and it's going to let me in. I didn't buy Bitcoin here because I thought, OK, let me see. Bitcoin uh, will pull back and it didn't it just carried on going. I think I ended up buying during here or here during the Binance. Sorry, it was here during the Binance hack rumors I got in. And that was more of an investing position. Um, I, I commented in the group as well. I bought some investing position here because I thought, you know, it could run from here. But I don't do that as much. If I had bought Bitcoin here from my investing stash, I mean, I'd be up massively. So that's one thing I want to, uh, for my own improvements, you, as a trader or investor, you have to carry on improve, improving. I've been doing this for over five years, but you need to carry on improving, improving. This is a difficult business we are in. And there are some really smart people in this. So the, 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 the hardest, the people that work the hardest are going to take money away from you. So you have to put all the work in, in this industry to, to keep making money. And that's one thing I want to keep telling you guys. 
uh, to keep working hard and for myself I I always work in this industry to keep improving myself so let me do this quick uh, initial in, um, overview of this again this is a full crypto trading course that I've got I'm not going to be able to do this uh, you can find a link below if you want the full presentation but I'm going to give you the main uh, the, the overview of trading versus investing so trader is very short term it's incremental it's minimal profits it's technical analysis you quickly take profits and it's mainly day-to-day -day market movement management you trade you look at the trade what you're doing the longer term potential you're less concerned with um, you're not your main decision is you know the price movement the market reaction and it's quite heavy to full time you're always stuck to it you're using you know quick analytical judgments you go through trades I've showed you some pictures you know the analysis that I do and you slowly build your technical analysis up some of the famous ones are George Soros Paul Jones and Jesse Livermore. I think Jesse Livermore is the main one. I think George Soros, he's a trader, but he's also quite a fundamental analyst as well. And investors is long term, is buy and hold, is fundamental analysis. And Bitcoin, I'm happy to be a fundamental analyst. I mean, I joke about I'm going to huddle Bitcoin to a thousand, so a hundred thousand or to zero. I love Bitcoin and I think long term it's got massive potential. So sometimes I, I don't, I mean, I'm always thinking of a trader, I try to get the perfect entry and I miss miss entries. And, and also I sometimes even um, FOMO in, which is a complete no-no. When I trade my Forex, I'm so rigid. I know exactly what I want to enter. I have strategies in place with Bitcoin and also it's probably an ego thing as well with Bitcoin because I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I try to be right on YouTube. So I wanted to make this video to be very honest with you. And like I said, this channel, guys, um, I am quite uh, different on this channel and I try to be very transparent with you guys and, and not like other channels. If a trader tells they, they win their, all their trades, they're lying to you. This is a very, very important thing I wanted to share with you. So an overview of trading versus investing is investing is business focused, fundamental analysis. The duration is more longer term. They don't care about price dropping 5% and is value growth. Obviously, the greatest investor, one of the greatest investors is Warren Buffett. And trading is market focused, technical analysis. And, you know, the duration, the duration of it doesn't matter as in you could be trading an hour daily time frame, weekly time frame, or you could be trading seconds. Investing is the same. You could be invested in, in a few days. Mainly, in, you tend to think investing is longer term and is day trading, swing trading and positional trading. And these are the personality. I'm more of a trader. I love trading. This is where I make most of my money and it's a lot of hard work, but this is where my edge is. You could be more of an investor and a trader. This gives you a slight overview of um, where you might think you might want to take a screenshot of this. So the key points I wanted to end this video on before I go back onto the charts is fundamental fundamentals in crypto is very hard. So especially when you're doing altcoins, it's very hard to do. I think technical analysis work better with Bitcoin. I mean, it is different. Technical analysis work better if you know understand what the psychology is, where people are getting caught in the in the trades. I mean, one of the things I'll talk about is why I think it pumped here. Because I mean, I made a Twitter post saying the Facebook group. I made a post saying a lot of people are going bearish. There's so much bearish environment, and and crypto and Bitcoin seems to do. Uh, make the move which people least expect and that always happens during 3000 people weren't expecting a bull move so people are always caught offside so if you're kind of dollar cost average or buying good zones when it was down here um, I did buy I mean there I've got I'll talk about my strategy at the end so you know short term price is driven by emotion so it can run if, if there's a move like Bitcoin or XRP they just run like crazy back in 2017 and news can trump trump technicals you might have the best setup and one tweet i mean the stock market trader shared in the group was i'll oh, short the stock market and and you know donald trump made a tweet and it just messed up i was in massive profit so it's not just crypto but news do trump technicals so the main thing i want to say is know your strategy and stick to it if it's a daily time frame you know don't t t try to stay with the daily time frame do not you know bring come back to five minute time frame and try to manage it there and if you're bought for the news or for longer term you know huddle you know that's the uh, that's the most important thing and, and the, this presentation is actually not about trading and investing it's about risk management and psychology which is what I go through but I wanted to share with you uh, this because it's quite important and I've, I've always said I'm going to make an investing and trading strategy video so I wanted to make this free for my YouTube if you want to f want the full uh, 
full trading course i'll leave the link below you can join um if the, there's one tier still open if you're still interested in joining so if you're interested i'll leave the link below so coming back to bitcoin what are my two strategies one is investing and hodling i've got some bitcoin that i, I never touch and that helps me from fomoing in and from trading so that i do not touch and i love bitcoin i think it will go long and and i might be wrong it can go to zero i'm aware of it but i think bitcoin has got a brighter future and, and i probably won't sell it and i mean i'll keep you guys up to date I've, I've even sold my house to buy some bitcoin again please do not do that i might make a video and maybe show the house if you guys are interested in the future and um, so that's one thing but i sometimes i mix those two strategies up and that is a biggest mistake i'm talking about make sure you have a strategy and stick to it do not mix it up from a trading point of view i'm going to stick to my guns i sold bitcoin here uh, if you remember this green zone it couldn't get above it it's attacking that place now i didn't expect this move if it can hold, make a higher low i might look to enter here if it breaks above um, and, and makes a trend change uh, i've got a trading i think it's the second or third lesson of the crypto trading course it's already six hours in there it's a simple trend change above there i think bitcoin can have another rally into higher highs and i'm not sure how much i'll target initially probably be the you know this 16,000 mark this um, big resistance there and um, the 12,000 mark initially so that's my biggest mistake i wanted to talk to you about and i shared with you what trading versus investing is i think it's a really important video um, and I, I wish i'd made that earlier for you guys i know i've been i said it to that i'll make it especially some of the xrp haters that i've got they always tell me oh why are you selling xrp why are you buying xrp um, and i got a lot of hate said when i sold my xrp so if you're investing for longer term do not listen do not you know listen to my technical analysis you can this short term price movements but if you sold here you would have you know bought some dur uh, during this dump around this zone and i made these videos before it happened i'm not saying after the fact again i'm not saying i always get it right that trade i did get it right so i'm going to wait for a trend change and i don't i'm not hodling xrp and i've sold i bought some here because i thought i was going to get that move up i didn't and it sold off and you know i sold uh, xrp above one dollar as well so if you're investing xrp you think it's going to go massively try to you know have a different strategy if you're trading you wouldn't be buying here you'd you'd want a trend change or you know breakout that's when you can start buying but if you're investing and you think you, your your analysis so again i'm not saying do that for xrp i'm just saying uh, if you are you need to know if you're investing in you know chain link matic i find it very difficult to do fundamental analysis on altcoin and they might suffer uh, altcoin further you know make sure you watch that video i talk about the altcoin season indicator and you know altcoin dump check those videos out but if you need to know what you're doing and stick to your strategy do not listen to myself or someone random online and buy and sell have your strategy and stick to it so guys that's my update uh, that's the biggest mistake i talked about not combining to the two and you know missing trades because not invent dollar cost averaging or buying the dips because i think i'm thinking from a trading point of view and i do probably should have bought some more bitcoin here and, and I, if i was investing i should have bought more bitcoin here and not always try to get the perfect entry and miss pump and maybe trading when i trade i need to stick to the hard work my strategy that i use on the traditional market that i'm teaching in the trip crypto trading course i need to differentiate between the two so that is the mistake i'm making guys uh, hopefully you learned something from it i've been completely transparent it's been a difficult video to make because obviously your ego is in place but i want to be very honest with you guys and share this with you and i'd recommend you guys share your biggest mistakes as well and, and if you've learned something from it i'd really appreciate if you like and subscribe smash that like button if you're interested you can find out learn about the educational group um it's a, a from for the content i deliver i think is extremely cheap but you can check it out for a month if you're interested you can stay stay with us for longer so again thank you very much i hope you've enjoyed it um and make sure you stick to a strategy and don't jump uh, jump and buy and sell with emotions like everyone else so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with some great content thank you very much and go bitcoin